Hi, this is Jason Keller. Uh, coming to you with a video on the book I put together, How to Sell Your House Without an Agent. This is for For Sale by Owners. Uh, today's video is gonna be on uh, listing and marketing the house. And then next video, uh, we'll wrap up the book with uh, the uh, financial aspects of it, uh, negotiation and wrapping up the deal. And then uh, actually I'm gonna do a little bonus video that's gonna go over just the paperwork and the contracts that you'll need to actually complete the sale. Uh, but for today's video, uh, let's talk about listing or marketing the, the property. Obviously, you need to get it out there where people will see it. Uh, the traditional for sale by owner signs um, sometimes are hard to see in San Antonio because we have all these gated communities. Uh, definitely signs are helpful, but you want to make sure that people can see it or you want the most people to see your house as possible. Uh, that's generally going to be through websites. Uh, Obviously, the MLS is the most effective because that's where all the real estate agents are looking, but uh, Zillow is a fine tool to use. And there's a whole list of other uh, websites that uh, you can list your house on. I actually created a, a file of those, which I'm happy to send that to you. I'll send you that file and a copy of the book if you just want to subscribe and send us your email. And uh, again, there's several websites that you can use. Now, as far as while you're using those websites, make sure that you have uh, a good description of the house. The details, yes, three bedroom, two bath, but that's not what sells the house. What sells it is the lovely backyard with evening sunsets or the uh, spacious uh, entertainment area with um, great afternoon sunlight. Those uh, kind of descriptions are what get people's attention and makes your house unique. And unique is what makes people want to come see your house and want to own your house ultimately. Uh, pro tip, get a photographer. Uh, yes, the new cameras we have these days are great. Uh, but there's nothing like a pro photographer. Uh, the pro photographer knows how to shoot the rooms to get the best angles. Uh, he knows the sequence of photos that most uh, websites want. They know the sizing of the photos. Uh, they can edit if they need to. And trust me, for $150, highly worth getting a good professional real estate photographer. Again, if you need help on that, I have plenty of people that I can send your way. Uh, social media is a great way to list your house as well. Of course, any of those outlets uh, have different advertising tools. Uh, so definitely consider that as well. Once the people start seeing the house, they're going to call you. They're going to want to come see it. Set appointments and set a set time. Uh, you know, people are going to tell you, well, I'll come by after four o'clock. So you can take off work, rush home, get home by four, and they show up at seven. Well, that's after four o'clock, but it's also when your family's having dinner. So 4.15, see you there. That's a set appointment, not just sometime this afternoon. Also, get their name and phone number. Sometimes people just don't show up. You want to be able to call them and ask them if they're still coming, or you want to be able to follow up with them and ask them if they're interested in the house. Also, if something were to happen or something went missing, you want to be able to track who's been in and out of your house. Um, that way you know who's actually been there. You know, It doesn't happen often, but if something happened, you'd have a, a list of people and a way to get a hold of them. Okay, so you've got the house on the market. You've got appointments. You've got people showing up. You've got interest. The next thing you need to have ready is a seller's disclosure. Uh, the seller's disclosure is the document that will communicate to a buyer if there's any deficiencies with the house, anything that needs to be fixed, any repairs that you've been done. It's required by the state of Texas. Uh, and it's not something to be intimidated by. In fact, sometimes you can brag that I just got a brand new roof or I just got a brand new air conditioner system. But it's something that you have to fill out to the best of your ability and provide to buyers uh, before they sign the contracts. Now, again, if you don't have a seller's disclosure, please let me know. I'll email it to you. All right. Now we're ready to start talking the negotiations and money. That'll be on our next video. Please look out for that. As always, if we can help in any way, don't hesitate to give us a call. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks, and uh, talk to you soon.